Hello everyone, my name is Tor and welcome or welcome back to Anthropology. Thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope you're all doing well. It's a very gloomy day here in Vancouver, but I hope this can be cozy for you all. So if this is your first time clicking on this channel on a video of mine. Thank you for clicking. So excited that you're here. I talk all about things fashion related, handbags, cats, Vancouver content, cozy vlogs, all the above. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, notification bell, all of that. If you're a returning viewer subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you enjoyed this one as well. So in today's video, we're talking about the cats, we're talking about the kitties. I wanted to just talk about the differences in the color transformations between PB, my seal, uh, seal links point mitted ragdoll male, and lynx, our blue links point ragdoll female. So they have gone through very different color transformations, color journeys thus far, and I wanted to talk a little bit about it. Give you all some information if you are thinking about getting a ragdoll, what you can potentially expect in terms of color variations, because PB has gone through a whole journey, and Lynx has basically started and stopped at the same place. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Let's get into it. So I just want to say, I want to start this off. This is not going to be, I'm not a ragdoll expert. I'm only speaking from my experience with the two ragdolls that I have, and both of them have been very different. So this is not to say that everyone's experience will be like this, but this is just what I've noticed from kitten to adult. So ragdolls come in a variety of different colors and different color variations. There are ones that have the triangle, which is like super cute. There's ones that have more painted, um, type colorings, and then there's the ones that we got, which are the Lynx Point, which are characterized primarily through striping and the white eyeliner around the eyes. We didn't necessarily go into looking for a ragdoll that had the specific Lynx coloring. It just happened that the breeder that we went to, most of her cats were Lynx Pointed, and obviously PB and Lynx are related, so they're both Lynx babies. Now, I'll start with Lynx because her coloring is um, different than PB's and it has been the most consistent and constant. So we got Lynx at around 10 weeks. She is a blue Lynx point ragdoll. She has gray paws. She has a gray striped tail. She has gray um, blue point ears and a face. And then the rest of her body is like a creamy, a creamy eggshell white color, but cool toned. So she's more cool toned than PB. And Lynx basically started like that and then she grew up to be just a bigger version of her smaller self so there was no surprises there was no real like oh, what is she going to turn into she has sort of constantly had the same coloring when she was younger she um, was a bit lighter she was whiter in terms of her face in terms of her tail and everything she was a bit lighter and then she darkened up um, over time. Ragdolls normally take around three years to reach their full saturation for coloring and size and maturity. So this video is not to say that PB won't change again. I may have to do another video in a year and a half to answer to what I've said in this video, but Lynx has stayed constantly the same from start to finish. Now PB is where he was a bit of a wild card. When we first saw PB in his litter, he was he was the darkest of his siblings, but he was more of like a dusty, a dusty gray-brown color. He wasn't, like he, he sort of started off that way. He was, he, well, they start off white and then he transitioned to like a darky gray color. And then when we received him, he was eight weeks old and he was like a very, very, very light sandy beige color for most of his body. And then he had a dark tail and he had little white mittens. So he is mitted, which means that his paws are white and most of his arms are white as well except for um, his right side I believe. So from zero to three months really he was just a very like pale brown color and he had the same coloring consistent from his head all the way through his body up to his tail. So I was thinking when I first like when we first got him that he was going to be the same as Lynx like he was going to grow up to be a very very light sandy color but then things got weird. Between three to six months, 
he got significantly darker in terms of his coloring, but he sort of, he completely like lost the consistent beige. And then he became darker in areas like his face, um, his right arm paw, I guess, and his tail. His tail was like almost black. It was so dark. So for that period, we're like, oh, he's getting much darker because his mom was a, a seal point lynx cat. And then his dad was more of the um, variety where his like whole face was dark and his tail was really dark. He was seal as well, but then his body was consistent. So we're like, okay, I'm seeing the variety here. So we're like, okay, maybe he's not gonna be what we originally thought he was going to be. And then, cat hair everywhere, obviously, from six months to one year, he completely lost his dark color and he became almost white. And it was like, we're like, okay, this one again, very confusing. We're like, well, what color is he gonna be? Is he gonna be light like Lynx with just like dark seal point colors, like similar to her, where her body is very light and his face would be dark? his tail would be dark and then like his arm would be dark. So we're like, okay, maybe he's not gonna be what he is. But then after a year to where we're at now, he has completely darkened up in terms of his body, in terms of his tail, his arm, his face and everything. Like there was a point where him and Lynx were almost indistinguishable to a lot of people because of how close their coloring was. And obviously PB is a big boy and Lynx is a bit of a petite girl. So they were similar sizes, similar colors, and similar markings so people could not really differentiate them when they would come over to like cat sit. But now they look completely different. PB has really come into his seal point chocolate coloring. I call him my little chocolate tiger because of how dark his body is, how dark his face has gotten, how dark his arm has gotten, and how dark his tail has gotten as well. So honestly, I'm so curious to know how PB will progress as we get to his third year when everything will be sort of finalized in saturation, color, maturity, all of that. He'll be like a full grown adult boy, man, cat. So I'm curious to know how, if anyone has cats down below, how your cats have changed in coloring, how this has sort of like surprised you. It's sort of like a bit of a guessing game. Like, what are they going to be? What's, what's the new color? And it's, you don't really notice it day to day, but when looking back at pictures, cause I have an iPhone and like, you know, like when it shows like the pictures and you're like, Wait, what cat is that? Whose cat is that? Why does that cat look so different than the cat that I have now? So I think it's also really interesting to note that not to, no two ragdolls are the same and will not go through the same journey. Lynx just became a larger version of her little self. And PB has gone through a whole roller coaster of transitions from one color to the next. So let me know your experience down below, how your cats have changed if you have them. Maybe this will give you some insight into what potentially color way you want to go. I'm not sure, maybe Blue Lynx is just a different mat maturation than Seal Point for Ragdolls. Seal Point says it's like a dark brown, potentially it has different, well, obviously it has different color uh, maturity and like different development and all of that. So let me know what you think down below. Please like, comment, subscribe for more cat content and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.